Hey guys, so what's up, you Wolf here, and welcome back to the same PC tutorials, and today guys, we're going to be going over the Mob Cloner and Custom PCs. Now, the Mob Cloner is a very useful tool if you want to have multiple of the same NPC in your world and or spawn in mobs. So, right here, we're just going to create an NPC, his name's Armos, and let's say that we've been working on this NPC for a while, and we really like the way he is, and we really want to spawn him in in more parts of our world. So, right here, we'll right-click with the Mob Cloner, and as you can see, it says Save As on the top. We can save him as whatever we want, so let's just save him as test, and you can choose a tab number, so he will be in tab number 7, and then we can save him client side or server side, server side meaning that he will only exist on the server, and client side meaning that he'll exist on our client, so we can take him into single player worlds. Now right here we're just going to click save, and then we have this guy all saved up, so we can delete him from right here. Now, right here, we have the Mob Cloner. So, you right-click with the Mob Cloner, and as you can see, if we go to tab 7, you'll see Test right here, and we can either spawn him or clip Mob Spawner. Now, let's just spawn him in, and you can see that it'll set him up just the exact way that we had him before. So, let's just get rid of him now, and let's do this again, except we're going to put him down as a Mob Spawner. So, now it's going to create a Mob Spawner, constantly spawning in these Armos, which we don't want. But if you want them in your world, let's say that you want like a spider spawner with custom spiders, then you can basically do that. And then guys, you can also spawn in entities right here as you see, bat, cow, mushroom, NPC, all sorts of stuff. And these are just default things you can spawn in without any customization. And then server right here, if we click on that, these are all your server side saved mobs and you can just spawn them in the same way you would with clones. So thank you guys for watching, please rate, comment, and subscribe. If this helped you, please leave a like. And if you guys have any more suggestions for anything I could do, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time. Buh. Bye.